Flight 299 was initially scheduled to depart at 12.10 p.m. Flight pushed back to taxi at about 1.31 p.m. The flight was initially cleared by the West Ground Controller to runway 3 center by turning right out of the gate and holding short of Oscar 7. We've talked about these before. Oscar 7 is just like a taxiway that they can take going out uh, to the runway. Okay. The flight crew listened to the Automatic Terminal Information Service, uh, ATIS, which noted that visibility was three-quarter mile. It's just like an automated service they can listen to for updates about the airport, you know, what the weather's like, where the cloud cover is, stuff like that. It's, pretty, it's a very common thing. So they continued to monitor ATIS in case of updated information and check the company's takeoff visibility minimums for the runway. They found that the takeoff minimum for this runway was a quarter mile visibility. And at the same time, the airport information visibility updated to one quarter mile. Their visibility was at the minimum they needed in order to take off. Okay. As they turned onto taxiway X-ray, which runs parallel to their runway, 3 Center, they stopped at the whole line for 3 Center, and then they were cleared for takeoff at 1.44 p.m. As they began the takeoff roll, the first officer stated, definitely not a quarter mile, but at least they're calling it. So, so he said, he can't see far enough, but he's like, but they say it's okay? Right. So they're, they're concerned about it. It's really foggy yeah. on this day. So around the same time that Flight 299 was preparing for the flight and taxiing, so was Flight 1482. At 135, Flight 1482 was cleared to taxi from the gate and was told to turn right out of parking and to exit the ramp at Oscar 6. A few moments later, the first officer said, it looks like it's going 0, zero out here. And 0, zero is a term that a pilot may use when taking off into low instrument flight rule conditions. So basically saying there's very, very poor visibility. Okay. About 30 seconds later, the first officer said, guess we turned left here. The captain expressed some doubt about this turn, but the first officer replied, near as I can tell, man, I can't see expletive out here. At 1.39, the captain requested Flaps 20 to begin the takeoff checklist. The first officer said they were approaching the parallel runway on Oscar 6, then said they had missed it. Then they saw a sign with arrows to Oscar 5. And then they thought at this point they were on Foxtrot now. So they're very confused about where they are on the ground. Okay, yeah. The ground controller asked if they were on the outer runway, and the first officer said, that's right. So the outer taxiway follows the perimeter of the gates from where they were initially, and they had to go straight off the outer taxiway onto Oscar 6, across runway 9, and then onto Foxtrot. But instead, they turned left to continue on the outer runway at the Oscar 6 intersection. So when they got to that intersection, they basically just took the wrong turn. Mm -hmm. So the ground controller told them now to continue onto Oscar 4 and then turn right onto X-ray. The captain continued to Oscar 4 at a very slow rate, and the visibility was now getting really low. At 1.42, they approached the Oscar 4 intersection, and they had a conversation that showed they were both very confused about which turn to take. So at this point, the captain sets the parking brake of the DC-9, uh, and they continue to try to figure out where they are. Where do they park it? Like This is the outer taxiway that's running parallel to runway 9, and it intersects not quite perpendicularly with runway 3. Oh, it intersects? Yes. So they're on the outer taxiway and they're at this Oscar 4 intersection. And at this point, what they're supposed to do, they're supposed to take a right turn down X-ray. But at this particular intersection where they are, from their perspective, there's five different turns they can take. Uh huh. So there's two of them that go to the left so they can eliminate those. They know they're supposed to go to their right. There's three different turns to the right and they're not sure which one they're supposed to take necessarily. There was a pause at this point for 32 seconds. Uh, presumably, they're trying to figure it out. And then the captain releases the parking brake. The first officer then said... Yeah, turn left over there. Nah, that's a runway two. The captain then attempted to contact the ground controller. He told the ground controller that they were out there and they couldn't see anything. The ground controller asked if they were southbound on x-ray, which they should have been. The captain said, we aren't sure. It's so foggy. We're completely stuck. The ground asked if they were on a taxiway or a runway and if they were clear of runway three center. They said that they were on runway two one center. The ground controller then told them if they were on two one center to exit immediately. Do you know another name for Runway 21 Center, Chris? Don't they, like, change names whenever they're facing different directions? Correct. So the way to do it is to either subtract or add 18. The opposite direction of 21 Center would be 3 Center. And 3 Center is the runway that Flight 299 is on. Oh. Oh, oh. Right. This 1482 says they're on 21 Center, which means they're facing Flight 299, which is on Runway 3 Center. Oh, Seven seconds later, both airplanes collide on the runway. 
with flight 299 at a speed of about 100 knots, which is 115 miles an hour or 185 kilometers an hour. Wait, so how did he... I thought he was on the taxiway. They were on the taxiway. They were safe. But then they decided they were going to make a turn onto what they thought was x-ray. Oh, no. They picked the wrong turn, and they ended up on the runway. If you enjoyed that episode, that was just a small snippet from one of our episodes of Black Box Down. You can click the link down below me to see all of them, experience them for them for yourselves. Uh, while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you can keep up to date anytime there's a new Black Box Down episode out. Animated or not. <laughs>